Hi Big Brother, Big Sister volunteers and young people all over Ireland who are getting involved in this uh, photography competition. My name's Sean Clark and I'm a professional wedding photographer from Cork and I've just got a few tips that might help you kind of stand out and uh, get focused for this uh, competition. So I'm going to start with um, probably my own, from my own experience, uh, and I've photographed landscapes, animals, people. Um, I would say the most important thing and my kind of golden tip for any photographer in any genre is to photograph things that you connect with, things that you love and things that you're passionate about. So, uh, you know, whether that be your, your pets, your surroundings, uh, the place you live in, um, all of these things are really important and when you're photographing something that you love or you connect with it generally comes through in the photography. The second most important kind of golden tip that I can offer you as simple as it sounds is to have fun and be creative. So this can involve um, sort of trying different angles with everything that you're shooting so rather than just taking one photograph and thinking that's the one Take it from different heights, different levels. If you're shooting, say, a family pet, a dog, get down on the dog's level so that you've got a connection with his eyes or its eyes. Um, if you were photographing uh, a, a, a rural landscape with cows and horses in the field, you might want to try a few different angles where you're kind of up really close to the animals, which is something a lot of us don't see every day. So it's always it always makes for interesting photography or otherwise trying a huge wide angle um, covering the entire field. You might have mountains, but soaking in that entire view. Uh, but always kind of shoot from different angles and look for objects that might lead you into the photograph. Um, for example, if this is the frame, you might have a shed here that kind of guides your eye into, into the view of the photograph. Um, so think about composition and just be creative. There's no particular rules. Um, I think just to be as creative as you possibly can. And often when you think you've got the shot to keep shooting for another 20 minutes, half an hour, because sometimes those little mistakes or things that you, you're not necessarily paying attention to become the most interesting photographs of the day. As far as urban life, uh, I guess a nice tip might be to take a walk in a neighborhood that you live in or that you connect with and you know Know really well it might be a special place or a building in that neighborhood or maybe a, um, you know it could be an old rundown building that you you've you've been fascinated by for years go and photograph it walk around take different shots take detailed shots take uh, taken the entire shot of the building. Another idea is to perhaps go to a place that you are, that you don't visit very often or you've never been to. Um, that can often give you a very fresh kind of uh, palette of ideas to work with as well. The main thing is to kind of really take in your surroundings, things that you wouldn't pay attention to most days. Go in with a photographic eye and, and, uh, and shoot away and have fun and, and go exploring and try and tell your story and incorporate a little bit of yourself into uh, into the photographs you're taking. I guess my last tip, uh, once again in the creative field, is with your filters and stuff, try some different things. I always personally like it when photographers don't go overboard. It's a really nice, simple, beautiful color if you're taking a lovely landscape. Um, with all those different greeneries or it might be a colorful building or uh, somebody you know wearing a, a bright colored hat is in your shot that might catch the eye and kind of bring light to your photo uh, but at the same time some of these photographs particularly in landscape as well can look just as incredible and sharper in black and white so i hope this helps good luck and once again i go back to my very first golden tip which is have fun and be creative